Hi everyone, today I would like to show you how you can uh, programmatically add prefix to all your columns at once by using a zip list zip function in Power Query. So this technique will work in Power BI as well as in Excel. So wherever you use Power Query, obviously. So here is I'm showing that um, I have manually um, renamed and added employee as a prefix to all my columns manually on purpose but then um, if you have uh, 20 or 30 your columns it's very time consuming it's not very efficient right by adding it manually over and over again so that is why you can use a function called a list zip you can have a look what this function does by the way, this is a series of videos of how to control what columns to export and load in Power BI with the lists in Power Query and how to maintain headers in the list. So in this example, this is a continuation of this series. So check out my previous videos in my channel. I'll leave a link down below. So five uh, headers that I'm loading here. And um, this is the list that I'm going to use so basically the way we will work with this is um, we'll create a reference of this list so we don't have to type it and then we're going to convert it to a table because it's a list it's not a table yet and we rename it to from so that's the original list of headers that we currently have in our file in our table and then we create a new column two so this is the list of uh, all the headers with the prefix employee so first i will check if my header already starts with employee then i don't want to add employee as a prefix because it already exists so i'll just repeat the same uh, header name but otherwise, I would like to create a new header that's going to start with employee. And then I'm going to concatenate that text employee with first um, space and then with the actual original column name. And here we have it. We've got a second column containing, containing the prefix employee. So make sure I convert it to a text. Okay, so it's ready to use. So now let's go to table zip list. So this is the exactly the same uh, query that I have created table menu renaming, but without renaming step yet. So from here, we're going to programmatically rename all our columns by adding employee to it. So I will start by just purposefully um, adding renaming first column so that I can start table rename columns function in the beginning as you can see but now I will actually replace this employee s key with a zip list function so list zip and then I will need to specify um, first column from my new table that I have created that's gonna include all the headers that I want to rename from and then I will specify the second column to this is the headers that I want to um, have as an end result after I renamed my, all my columns so I'm missing um, brackets here so I'm just gonna add them And that is it. There we have it. So we've got prefix employee in each of our column that we have specified.